So let's separate the legs parallel, a little wider than the hips. Hands can be on the waist. And you're going to start just side to side. The main point is to keep the knees straight. Think about more send your hips to the side than the upper body. It's really hip. But, but. Now let's go forward, back. Forward, adds in, back. Forward, when you, when you go back to the hips, it's spine straight forward. Get you stretch to the hamstrings and the hip flexors. Legs straight, knees locked. Now let's combine everything doing circles. So side, forward, other side, back. Let's go to the other side. Good. Let's just close the legs a little bit. Open the arms to a tip out or facing down. Now pretend that you're pressing something down to anchor the shoulders on the sides. And start to do little circles here to mark form up the shoulders. Abdominals engaged, so the arms are moving, but the body it's not dancing all over the place. Just arms. Still squeezing the glutes here. Still squeezing the abdominals here. Reverse the circle. Trying to feel the connection of the shoulder blades on your back. Reverse again and then start getting to bigger range of motion. Other direction, big round of motion. We're going to keep the arms in chin, separate the legs a little bit more. They're going to be wider than the hips. Let's just go to a deep squat down between the heels, pressing the knees back, side bend to one side, set. Side, bend to the other side. Center, stand up, arms down. Open the arms and squat deep. Side, bend to one side. Center, side, bend to the other side. Center, stand up, arms down. Let's do two more. Open the arms, squat, trying to get that length on the inner thigh. Up again, squeeze the glute when you get to the top. One more time. Come back up. Now let's just try moving the legs. Turn the legs in. Turn the heels in. Turn the toes in. Bring the heels together. Oops. Now let's go heels out, so the whole leg is turning, toes out, heels out, toes out, one more time, heels out, toes out, let's reverse, let's return, toes in, heels in. So you want to always lift a little bit to the, or tip the toes or the heels to do the transition, toes in, heels in. Toes, bring the feet together in Pilates V, and close. Let's do one more open and one more close. Toes out, heels out. So the legs are turning from the um, hip socket. Turn up, heels out. Ooh, one more time, and bring back in. Toes in, heels in, toes in, heels in, toes in and squeeze together. Arms parallel on the side, legs are hip width apart, abs in, glutes in, we're going to squat deep, try to put your body weight on the hips the deepest you can go. Arms as far up as you can, hold five, four, little poses, three, two, 
one, come back up, lower the arms down, squeeze the glutes on top. And again, squat. Pose is five. Body weight on the heels. What I really do here is to take my toes off the floor to make sure that the body weight is on the heels. Stand up, lower the arms, squeeze the glutes. Three more, down, four, three, two, one, last one, press into the heels and come back, stand again, go to the top of the mat, so the mat is in front of you, abdominals in, let's roll down, head, neck, Shoulders, abdominals in, glutes engage it, all the way down, bend your knees if you have to, but find your hands on the floor, walk your hands forward to a plank, so here you have the option to hold this plank, you have the option to rest the knees down to make it a little easier, or we're going to challenge today, closing one leg, Close the other. Open the right, open the left. Close the left, close the right. Open the right, open the left. Close, close, last one. Walk the hands, maybe one or two steps back to a downward facing dog. Bend the knees, stick the body up, press the heels towards the floor. Now extend the legs and the heels even more to the floor. Bend the knees, extend. Bend, the arms here, they are stretching the mat forward. Keep straight. Walk the hands forward to a plank again, hold, and turn to a side. Take the free arm up. Let your heels fall to the opposite direction, so your entire body can open to the side plank. Turn to a plank, turn to the other side. Squeeze the shoulder blades on your back, squeeze the glutes. Plank. And right. And plank. And the other side. The last one for each side. Plank. Open. And from plank. And other side. Come back to plank. Bring the knees down. Push back to child's pose. Come back to all fours. And push back to child's pose. Come back to all fours. Three more. Push back. All fours. Long neck. Last two. All fours, last one. And let's stay in all fours. Make sure that your knees are under your hips. Hug the toes under too. Let's just do the catch and count to start four times. Exhale, tuck the belt. Head down, abs in. Inhale, arch the spine, shoulder blades back. Three. Press the toes into the floor. Two. Last one. Find your neutral and now hip, but side to side. So you're not shifting the entire body weight from one side to another. It's just the booty, just like a happy dog.
Now little circles into the butt, the pelvis. You can add the entire spine or keep just the hip. Other direction, just the hip or the entire spine. Great. Back to child's pose. Flip the palms to the ceiling and bring the hands behind the shoulder to stretch the triceps. You might need to walk your elbows forward, push the hips back. Great. Now we are in all fours again, but we're going to bring the left forearm down. Keep the hands, the right hand. The left forearm, you might want to turn so your hands are together. Doing this like square shape. Extend the right leg back. Lift the right leg. Turn the hip forward a little bit. Now let's lower the right leg down and lift. Lower down. Lift in a range of motion where you can keep your pelvis stable, abdominals in. So if you lift and your back goes down, you're maybe going too far. Inhale down, exhale up. Three, two, oh, one. Lift, circle forward, down, around. And four, three, two, oh, one. Reverse circles. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold the leg up and bring it down. Press back to a child's pose for a second. Let's do the other side. So right forearm is down, I'm going to turn my hand towards my opposite elbow, opposite hand. So the hand or the fingertips are in contact. Extend the left leg, open the hip to your left side. Abdominals engage it. We're going to exhale, lift the leg. Inhale, lower down. Try to get all the way down to the floor. Exhale, lift, exit. Inhaling down, four, feeling the work on the outside of the glute, three, two more, one, lift, circle forward, down, around, four, three, two, one, reverse, five, four, three, two, last one, hold the leg up, and bring it all the way down. They burn the glutes a little bit, what is great. Let's do a stretch here for glutes um, and the pity fork that is the deep rotator. So let's bring the right foot forward, like lunge. You can keep the back knee down, or if you can, just try lift for now. So this first focus is hip flexor stretch so the, on the left side. So the left hand stays beside the foot, the right foot on the inside. We're going to try to take the left, uh, sorry, the right arm up. Now the main point here to keep feeling the stretch on the glute is to press the right knee in towards the chest. Bring this hand down. We're gonna 
walk the right foot in and let the knee fall to the outside. That's close to our figure four position to stretch more the glutes. Right? So the leg is in. Right foot close to the pelvis. Our goal little by little is to make the foot move away from the pelvis towards the hands here. So if the chest is lifted how I am right now, the focus is still on the hip flex or on the opposite leg. If you want to go more to a glute stretch, you might need to bend over, coming either to the forearms or all the way down to the chest. on the floor, push the floor away from you so you can put it by the weight more into the hip. Great. Walk up to the forearms, walk up to the hands, no more extension here, chest up. Slowly take this leg out, it's still the same leg, now we're going to tuck the knee to the side. So that's the position, it's just like how a pin dog do, open the knee, rest the knee on the mat. That's to open up the low back on this right side. You can either keep on the forearms or same thing, push up to the cobra. It's a good thing, a good exercise, a good position to be in, in case you have low back pain or even sciatica pain. Have this in the entire time here. Now let's move. We're going to bend the elbows, tap the elbows down, press into the hands, extend. Five more. Bend the elbows, don't let the elbows open out. Pull them inward. Four, three, two, the last one, down, extend this leg all the way back, give few seconds to your body, lie down on the belly, shake the hip to one side and to another. So good. Let's do the other side. So press yourself up. Take the left to foot forward. Hands either side of the front foot. We're going to try to lift the back knee. Since now we are trying to bring the left knee to the center. Getting the length of the hip flex on the right leg right now. Press the back knee down, point to the foot. Now slide this left foot to the right edge of the mat. Let the knee goes down to the floor. Because I have my glute and my piriformis stiff, my foot slides towards my pelvis, and that's okay. Make whatever is comfortable for your hip and for your knee, maybe. If you can, take a look on the back leg. If the back leg is open, Try to bring to the center. Let's focus on the hip flexor first. So you're in the hands, chest lifted, abs in. Get into a stretch of the hip flexor. Like out, chest up. Now get more of the glute coming down. To the forearms first, and if you can, all the way down to the chest.
Press into your hands. Stretch the, the floor, the mat away from you, putting your body weight to the hip. So I'm stretching the way. Now, carefully, you want to um, just kind of swing the foot all the way to the outside. And let the hip deep down. I'm going to start here on my forearms, trying to distribute evenly the body weight to both hips. And from here, I'm going to press into my hands, lift up to a cobra. Down again. Up. Exhale. Slowly tap the elbows down for more. Three. Two. And one. Come down. Extend the leg all the way back there. Just shake your hip to the right and to the left. Combine two things here bridge and roll ups. So, the roll ups we're gonna have the legs extended, hip width apart to match width apart, feet flex, the knee steps are pressing down to keep the legs very active. Arms up to the ceiling, head up, belly in. If you cannot get all the way up to the ceiling, just hold where you can stop. If you can go all the way up, all the way up, lift to the low back to re uh, reach forward. Three, two, one, roll down slowly. Keep pressing those kneecaps down. Arms beside the body. Keep the core engaged. Point the feet. Slide. So the knees are bent. Roll through the spine. Get into a full bridge. Deep breath in. Take the right leg up. Try to keep the hip square. Lower down. Left. So engage the abdominals first. Squeeze the glutes first. Create that balance and stability. Take the other leg up. Down. Roll down to the spine. Find your neutral, so have the baby arch on the low back. Engage the abdominals in this neutral, slide the feet, extend in the leg. So always enjoy the transition from one exercise to another, not just extend the legs just because. Arms up, roll up, abs in. High diagonal, high, 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 high. Lift the low back to reach forward. Down with control. As soon as you're down, engage the abdominals, slide the feet, arms beside, press into the arms. I will flip the palms up this time. Roll up. Square the hip, abdominals in. Now left leg goes up first. Hold, flex, point the foot, flex, two, more, lower down, or the leg goes up. So the palm facing up is more unstable, you have to flip the palms down for support, do that. Flex, point four, three, 
two. One, lower down, roll down to the spine, find your neutral, create your core activation, slide your legs, flex the feet, arms up, roll up, 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 stretch the spine up, reach forward, three, two, one hold, bring the hands behind your foot if you can, if not, on your legs, on your thighs, whatever your hands can make. Drop the head down. Now the arms going to pull, legs going to push. Good. And slowly roll all the way down. Oh, one more time. Close the legs together, create the inner tight energy activation. If you feel the low back hyper arching off the floor here, bend your knees a little bit and find support for your low back. That's the priority. You can keep the legs straight, that's okay. Engage the abdominals, so it's the activation of tucking the pelvis. That's what we are looking for to find the core activation and the low back elongation to Contact the floor. From there, abs in, lift. The legs up, up, up. Hold. Right leg down, left leg to your face. Scissors. We're gonna kick, kick, switch. Curl up. Bring the hands to the calf. Pull, 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 pull. Last one. Legs together all the way down. Quick break. One last stretch here. Let's take first. The left leg to tabletop, right leg stay straight. Now the right leg that is on the floor straight, foot flex, hugging the midline. The, uh, the right hand go on the outside of the left thigh, so opposite hand, opposite leg on the outside. Bring the leg across. Trying to maintain the straight leg that's on the floor, the right leg, towards the center. Turn your face to look the opposite direction. back to center, extend this leg on the floor, bring the right one up, opposite hand on the opposite outer thigh, across the body. Extend the leg, arms up, let go roll up now to really get your sitting position. So if you cannot roll up, just help yourself up. Great. Now let's get a stretch to the inner thigh. Uh, if you feel that you need an extra support for the knee, put extra pillows under. Because the position, I'm going to be on my knees, kind of all fours. The knees gonna open out to the side, but don't sit the hips back. Let me try to do sideways just to show first. So knees all open, hips stay in the center. You don't wanna sit the hips back like this. 
right? So it's center just slightly to open the inner thigh. And you can come down to the forearms. I'm gonna turn forward so my knees stay on the mat. And the goal is just to really allow the hips to little by little sink down from the elongation of the inner thigh. So good. If you get your point that is almost comfortable, do little pushes back and forward. Slowly help yourself with your arms, engage the abdominals too, to start to walk your knees towards each other. And that's it for today. Thank you.